Active campaign, choose your own adventure. The idea is simple. Let people's behavior determine what they receive from you. And this is applicable not only to active campaign, but all types of email systems that use tagging or activity based behavior to determine actions. So I'm going to show you how to implement this in active campaign. This is one way you can extend it to do a lot more to it. But the idea is simple. Let people's behavior determine what they receive from you. So let's dive right in. Inside your active campaign account, we're going to set up what well, I've already set up. I'm going to call a welcome or a nurturing sequence. And this is where you can implement the choose your own adventure stuff. And the idea is, again, let people's behavior determine what they get. So for instance, somebody might sign up. Doesn't matter how they get into here, but they get into here. I usually like to give them the infamous five minute wait just in case. If you're sending out a password, well, you might not want to do that. And then send out an email. And then after that, instead of simply waiting for a day or whatever time to send the next email, you have this condition here, which says wait until the contact does not have the tag, do not disturb. And I put no limit on it. And it's simply if as long as they don't have this tag, we can continue on. Now, I'm not showing you where it's being used, but I will get to that momentarily. So this is like a three day sequence. You know, you might have seven, 10, 30 day sequence. And what I'd recommend is after every email that gets sent out, you put a wait condition that says they do not have the do not disturb tag. Um, and then if they don't, just continue down the line. So in this case, if they do not have the do not disturb tag, they would be done in three days. And that's what you would expect. However, if they go off on their own adventure, it could be a lot longer, but they still get what they originally expected just over time and not getting overlapping messages. So you might set up multiple automations like this that are sensitive to the tag do not disturb. And this is what you want to do. As soon as the email is sent out, you put them into a wait state until they do not have that. Now, here's an automation that somebody gets into based on their behavior. In this case, if they visit a particular page or they click a link in an email, put them into this automation. And the first thing we do is we want to check, do they have the do not disturb tag? And do they not have the, the, another tag, a demo tag in this case? So I'm doing two things here. The reason I want to do that is because I only want people to pass through here once. I don't want them to go through this sequence after they've expressed interest. And by expressed interest, I mean they clicked a link or they visited a page. And there's some subtleties here that I've done. I did the wild card, not necessarily, but the multiple times is kind of a, I guess, an executive or strategic decision to allow that happen. So they could show up multiple times and they could show, show up multiple ways. So either the link click or the page visit. However, they get to this point and if they have the do not disturb tag or the demo tag, they're just going to skip right to the bottom and not go into the rest of it. If they don't have both of those tags, they're going to go in here. They're going to get the do not disturb tag applied. So that basically shuts them off from any other automation continuing that they're in that uses this tag. And then secondly, and this is optional, I'm adding a demo tag associated with this. So anybody that clicks this link in the email or visit this page, we're going to say, you know what, they're interested in this. And this is the only time I want to have them go through here because once they have this tag, they're never going to come back in here. And the reason I say it's just that tag because the do not disturb tag gets removed at the end of this section so that they're back in play. They can go back to the main automation. They can go into another choose your adventure automation. And then you do what you might normally do. Wait for an hour, send an email, wait for another hour send a, or a day, send another email as much as you want. And then just prior to finishing, you want to remove that do not disturb so they can continue, for instance, from here on down. And this is a good place you might want to do this is if they visit a checkout page, right? So they visit a checkout page, you might add a condition here, which is they don't have the do not disturb and they don't have a customer tag. So if they've got a customer tag, you don't want to send them down here. And again, I might add a 30 minute or an hour wait prior to this check for that customer tag to be applied. So a little more advanced in that I'm putting a wait in here for a certain amount of time to see if they've purchased and had a customer tag applied. 
And if they get to this point and they've got a customer tag, well, we just finish them off. Otherwise, we go in here, send out the appropriate emails. That's how you choose your own adventure in ActiveCampaign.